Am I the a-hole for passing out during a family gathering meant to introduce our new baby? Did you pass out because the baby was so ugly that you just couldn't stand being conscious? Dang! Well, this comes from... Because then, oh, yes. <laughs> this comes from OK Resident 2120 who says, So recently, I, 27 female, had a beautiful baby girl with my husband, 29 male. She's my pride and joy. I love her more than I love myself. Damn, wow. love yourself more, OP. God, I love myself. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> Self-love. <laughs> um, but taking care of her has taken its toll on me. My husband promised the work would be 50-50 when we agreed we wanted children, but I don't feel that's being reflected by his actions this past month. It's gotten to the point where I can't even ask him to wash her up without him saying something along the lines of, my paternity leave is short. I want to make the most of it by relaxing a bit. I'll help you later. I'll help you later. When I have How less about, time. What if, what if OP wants to relax? But I don't have a lot of time. I need time. Well, I'm going to help you more when I'm working full time again and have to spend a bunch of other time on other stuff. That, yeah, that makes zero sense. That makes Logic. zero sense. <laughs> and I get it. His paternity leave is only six weeks while mine is 16 weeks, but my nether regions hurt like a bee for a better part of two weeks after the birth. Wait, why does it hurt? <laughs> Sam, do we have to have a uh, we'll talk? <laughs> That's what I imagine the husband's asking. You're like, what? What? what Why would mean? that hurt, babe? I feel like if he saw anything, he would understand. Oh my God. Yeah, maybe Did he would. have was... a question later about your guys' thoughts on maternity leave Ooh. with the company? What that looks like. <laughs> Interesting. <It's> some... <laughs> you got something to tell us, Riley? <laughs> I'm just saying if one of us were to get pregnant, would and all he could do for me was occasionally burp her. That's it's like the minimum. That's the barest of it. I feel like that's the funnest part. You're just like, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> Making babies burp, so fun. Fire. Now, my baby has gotten to a phase where she doesn't want to sleep. She'll sleep for an hour, but when she's up and back to crying, and I have to get up and try to soothe her. It's been happening for a week now, and I've gotten so little sleep that I'm nodding off while eating or doing the laundry and stuff rough is op's husband not helping at all is he just sleeping he's just burping the baby that's During all he's the doing. day yes only yes um a joke um saturday was the month of the anniversary of my daughter's birth so i decided wait, wait, wait it was the month okay so it was like turn one month old the month anniversary of the birth that's a funny way of saying one month, month old. old the month anniversary of the birth is that not an, an is an anniversary mean a birthday year? is an anniversary technically it is but you don't say a one month anniversary <laughs> for the like birth six month anniversary a anna anna means year in latin i believe yeah you're right you're right am i right you're right and yol op is an anniversary this would be a month anniversary op is an expert in motherhood not literature i that's yeah, all I'm, okay. not, not not pig latin okay it's not pig latin it's Estute latin. your mouth day <laughs> <laughs> nailed it that was a pretty solid pig latin right there that was that was gobbledygook i i, you know, I, I understood what you were putting that was down. straight gibberish um uh so i decided to gather both sides of the family to meet her they hadn't met her prior because A, I wanted to rest as much as I could, and B, I heard somewhere that you shouldn't be taking babies out and about when they're fresh out the womb because they're more prone to illness then. It's true. So we had this gathering at my mother's house and all was well. Everyone was cooing over our baby. There was food. People were catching up. Pigeon boy. <laughs> Dude, we need to get you a like superhero costume, costume for Pigeon Boy, and that's your sign. It just has a big P on it, like Robin Hood's. Yeah, and then and then it's just a giant like pigeon in the sky. Dude, that would be great. That's I, a, what a I would heed series. the pigeon call. That is a great spinoff series. Pigeon Boy, Pigeon Boy, Pigeon Boy does. Whatever, Whatever a pigeon, pigeon does. does. <laughs> yeah. What does a pigeon do? Pigeon boy. Sift through trash. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just you just find trash I and just eat it. Sort recycling. <laughs> yeah, you just, just eat trash. You just you just That's my superpower. I don't 
My superpowers, they don't have to eat real food. I just can eat trash and be fine. And you just run around on like... It's just me normal. Maybe I am a pigeon, bro. I eat, I eat trash. You just eat fries out of people's hands. Like, you just run by, just chomp it. That would be kind of sick. I would watch that series. Um, but everything was nice. But I had gotten three hours generous estimate of sleep in total the past week. And I was starting to feel the effects of it. My God. I was feeling lightheaded and clammy, but I didn't want to make a scene, so I tried to go to a bedroom to lie down. I didn't take 10 steps before my vision completely blacked out. Oh my goodness. Wow. I wasn't down for long, but I had fallen over, which drew some attention. I explained to everyone who was concerned that I was fine and that I was just not getting enough sleep, and I could see my husband visibly frown at that. You're getting enough sleep, honey. Yes. God. God. The 15 minutes that I burped that baby, you should have been sleeping. It's 15 minutes a week. That's what the doctors yeah. say. <laughs> Micro sleeping. It's all the rage. Um, there is something called the Uberman sleep schedule where you sleep, uh, what? It's every 20, uh, 20 minutes every hour? couple of hours. Yeah, so every hours. two hours. Yeah. Every four hours. Yeah. I, I love how we've all looked at this <laughs> independently. <laughs> yeah, 20 minutes every four hours for a total of like two hours of sleep. I considered it back in the day, but hell not. Um, they gave me some dessert and my aunt made to get my sugar up and the party continued. I felt embarrassed about the whole thing, especially since everyone was looking over at me until they left, but it's whatever. What bothered me is my husband's reaction. When he got home, he started going off on me about how I made him look bad and like he wasn't taking care of me. You are just, you're making yourself look bad. Yes. By not taking care of your wife. Maybe, maybe it looks bad because what you're doing is bad. Stop it. Get some help. I was confused on how that F me passing out made him look bad, but he refused to explain himself and had a pity party for himself in the kitchen. That is crazy that she is literally collapsing from sleep exhaustion. Yes. And he's like, but what about me? What about me? What about me? I need to be burped sometimes too. Yeah, can you take care of me, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> I was still feeling bad, so I decided to leave him alone and just go to sleep. But he seems to have taken that as a sign that I don't care about his feelings. He's in my ear this morning about how I just ignored him to go sleep last night and how I didn't even put the baby to sleep before leaving. Your feelings are dumb. <laughs> yes. Your feelings are dumb, this is Mr. True. Husband. This is true. Is he right? Am I the a-hole here? Um, and there is a very short update. So I've tried talking with him, but he's ignoring me and the baby the last three hours. I usually wait longer, but I'm just too tired to deal with this right now. You guys are right. I do need help with this. And he's made it very clear he's not ready to help me yet. So I'm just going to go to my mom's place. I am currently packing... I am so done. We have some relevant comments and a big update. Well, let's take a quick piss off right here. Okay. Do you, what, what do we think she means by I am so done? I mean, it sounds like she's done with the relationship. Like divorce like, done? Like capital D divorce. Done? I think it might be a divorce. No way. I, it might be. I mean, this man is a booty hat. Yeah. But like. Is he? Booty hat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, if you pass out in front of a bunch of people and your significant other frowns at you instead of helping you up, but do they like, really like you? But like, do they respect you? I mean, Eric, right, we're taking... We There must be a reason that they are married and have a child together. So no. I'm assuming, like, there must be, like, a reason that they're together, right? But this man is... I, like, I'm... I'm struggling to see what this reason is because he is completely unhelpful. He's making it all about him. He's not really caring about his wife or his baby, which is even the uh, most effed up part. He's hot. Oh, that's hot. He's hot? He's hot. He's hot. He's hot. Hot and he's packing. He's hot and he's so packing. So he wants to leave? Huh? So he wants to leave? John. How? John. I'm trying Bro. to understand what you're Bro, saying. What does packing mean? Packing, he's got that badonka donk. Yeah, he's donk. hot. He's hot. He's packing. Yeah. That's the only thing he has to give to the relationship. Yeah. Oh, I thought you guys were saying that because he he's like, oh, I can do better, so he's trying to like, oh, like basically no. be a terrible. Is this is also is his husband? Or I guess that could be viewed as he's pa he's trying to be packing out of this relationship. Ah. 
packing up his right. huge but, slong. But yours is like, he was like, why is she with this guy? What that's was the why. spark? Yeah. That's and the spark why. was that he's hot and packing. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but what, what, what do we think? I mean, should she I don't divorce? Think, I don't think it's a divorce yet. Yeah, I think we still need to like get to the bottom of why he's... Especially if this is the first time that this has happened. Yeah, which it sounds like it's it, like she hasn't said this is a repeating pattern all the time. It's like it sounds like it's just in the last month. Yeah. But dude, in the month that you are with a kid, like a newborn, wouldn't you want to spend time and take care? And why would I want to spend time instincts? with my child when I can uh, ignore all my responsibilities? Yeah, dude, what is he doing with his time? Yes, vacation time. I know kids get noisy at that age. Like the kid's not sleeping all the time. Like he could be sleeping, but like, like I know that's a joke. But like, <laughs> what is he doing? Truly, he he's has, not working. He's not working. He doesn't have do like at least like. Why? Why? I need to know what happens. I'm, but I'm thinking they're not get a divorce. But there's something weird going on. Like I don't understand why he's not helping. Mm. <gasps> Where's the theory? Yep. Hit Been me. on red pill and he's like, this kid's not mine. Or conspiracy mm. theory, he's on red pill and he's like, a man shouldn't take care of a baby. Mm. A man should drink beer. That's those are two good conspiracy and theories. I need sleep, I need to watch Netflix. Like, babe! Babe, where's my steak and whiskey? Where is it? <laughs> Put the baby down oh and come to me now. That's, Doing that that's a little too good there, Joe. Yeah, that's John. Opie's husband. <laughs> is that what your home I, life is great, like? I'm just a great actor. I'm just, I'm just the Leo, Leo of he's Fred a method Astoris. actor. He's yeah, a, exactly. He's <laughs> and <laughs> scene, <laughs> and we're back. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Damn, poor that was a three-year scene. <laughs> <laughs> wow. His poor girlfriend had put up with that for that much. Damn. Lies. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, let's get into these relevant comments. Um, so. This comes from Sophie Mall, who says, not the a-hole, and I can't call your husband the names I want to because my comment will be deleted. Paternity leave <laughs> isn't time to relax. It's time that you're helping raise the baby and spending time together as a family. Clearly, he is not doing either of those things as A, you'd be better rested, and B, he'd have noticed you're, you're exhausted. I mean, literally just straight up swapping off our blocks, our, or like blocks of- Yeah, like, yeah, I done. mean, they should, they should swap. They should swap. They should swap. Yeah. It should be equal. Yeah, she needs to like be able to take a shower by herself without the baby. I've been getting a lot of like parenting Instagram reels recently. Yeah. I don't know why. You shower with babies? Get this paternity leave right now. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, <laughs> do we need to be concerned? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Riley hasn't gone to the convenience store to restock recently. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to. You got Amazon. <laughs> True. Um, <laughs> you passing out made him look bad because it was clear to everyone that you're being left to raising your baby alone. It's clearly not a partnership, and the a-hole you're married to is turning it onto you to shift responsibility and blame. You need to seriously reconsider the relationship's future and bring this up with him as it all comes down to him and his behavior. If he gets his crap behavior, then things will be much better. But if he doesn't, you and your daughter deserve so much better. Yeah, I think it's like maybe it's just a momentary lapse in judgment and he will bloop, flip and be better. But OP is not the a-hole by any means. And this Absolutely. husband is a major a-hole. But Absolutely. I would love to know what you guys think. Put your answers in the comments. Let us know. Um, Away Throwers 97 says he doesn't know what paternity leave is and doesn't really want to take care of his family. Sadly, you can't seem to shake that loser. Damn, I mean that's that's kind of a sub at OP because it's like you yeah, married you, a loser. You, yeah, not only did you marry a loser, you yeah. carried his seed, dude. Yeah, to kind, fruition. Kind of a kind of a stray shot. I don't Ooh. know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> article old uh, fifty nine eight says this deadbeat of a father and husband is using his six weeks to laze around instead of using it to take care of his wife and which child. is what it's supposed to be for. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. OP said, you love your baby more than yourself. Would you want to let her grow up and think it's normal for wives to push themselves while they're sleepless and in pain until they faint and husbands berate them instead of worrying and taking care of them? Tell your parents that your husband doesn't help you at all and blamed you for making him look bad. You know what else makes him look bad? Being a deadbeat father. 
and Ooh. a partner. Nice. My <laughs> phone drop. Yeah, I think he is the a-hole. OP is not the a-hole. But what do you do? I mean, I think like if I was in her situation, I go to the, my mother's. Yeah. And say, Mom, I need some help. I need some sleep. Yes. And then uh, maybe have your mom take care of the baby for a sec and go to your husband and be like, hey, we need to have a talk. This is not working. Yeah. Like yeah. how we're operating. We need to get like into the uh, couple's counseling. Basically. I don't know. Dude, we, we, he just he needs the help right now. He That's needs the help right now. Dude, That's if he true. doesn't help at all, like I don't. Yeah. Like if he's like, I refuse. Do you, do you then divorce? Divorce? I think couples counseling, then divorce. How, how long have they been together? Do we know? I don't know. They are for sure married. They're um, young. They're young. They're yeah. 27 and 29. Yeah, 27 and 29. Um, I'm guessing like maybe they've been together for two years. So I guess you could. You could two well, years? But I'm you don't want to divorce right now because you just got a baby. Like ideally. Like eight. eight years? No way. That's a that's a big gap. <laughs> I I would say like three to four. Yeah, because the relationship and then the marriage and then the the pregnancy they've they've at bare minimum been together for nine months probably. Yeah. So we at least nine months. Five but, five. I'll okay. do five. Five years. But I want to see what's in this update. Well, uh, and also uh, the judgment on the post, not the a hole for OP. But before we get into the update, you need to update. If you're subscribed to us. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You need to update that not subscribed to subscribe. Do it now. Immediately. But this update is one day later. But don't wait a day. Don't wait I'm a watching day. Watching you. Um, <laughs> hi, all. Your comments are really helpful. So thank you. Yesterday, before I could Uber to my mom's house, my sister offered to help me. Amazing. So I'm staying with her instead. She's taking paid time off to help me out with my girl, which I am very grateful for. She also gave me sleep medicine that knocks me out for hours. I'm not sure if it was a good idea or not, but I slept long and well, so I don't care. I woke up a few hours ago to tons and I mean tons of messages from my husband. Like the little app icon had 99 plus messages on it. That is crazy. Here are some of the things he said, copied and pasted. You can't just up and effing leave with my baby. Come back now, please. Let's talk about it. You're actually so effing immature. Uh, what is wrong with you? We have one argument and you're effing pretend like I've been attacking you. My God, why the heck did you leave? We can work this out like adults, yet you're choosing to be a difficult little bee. Please just cut. I love how it switches. To like, I hate you the worst. And it's like, please, please just Which come. Please come back. back. Usually, I feel like whenever we see these kinds of messages from freaking like the alpha men uh yes sigma yes. boys uh they always look it like this like, please. It's like i hate you please i hate you but i love you and i need you please just come back and we'll talk and sort this out and we can go back to being happy so come back i miss my baby girl you just can't take her away what if i call the police for kidnapping would that teach you what you're doing is wrong oh <sighs> you kidnap your own child Probably. Uh, that, if you can prove like nefarious yeah. intent. Yeah. Um, this guy is off his rocker. A million percent, bro. And, and we have actually, ha we haven't, we haven't said what we're about, what I'm about to say in a while. But as we've said on this show yes. many a time before, yes. but not for at least, at least a couple months, there has to have been red flags. Hey, red flag, red flag, everybody. Where were they? Where were Where the red were flags? They? Like this is this is crazy behavior. Insane. Insane behavior. I don't understand what the switch. Yeah, there has is. to has to have been some sign or 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 something happened. Like people people can develop uh severe mental illnesses like later That's later true. in life like in their late 20s and stuff. And I guess too, like but... like uh being with a child changes things, but yeah, maybe it's that was a trick. Crazy. Well, um, I would screenshot, but it says this community doesn't allow screenshots, so I can't. And I know it's a bit weird to tell y'all what he's been texting me, but I'm mad right now, and this feels therapeutic, lol. I already sent the screenshots to my mom, though. As for my baby, I have an appointment to a pediatrician for Wednesday, but for now, she's on formula since my breast milk quality isn't the best for understandable reason. Oh, because of the stress, maybe? I, 
I don't know what the reasons are. Lack of sleep, sleep and stuff. Oh, yeah. lack of sleep. Right, right, right. Um, my sister said she wasn't as fussy as I described. So I really think the problem is with my milk. I, I mean, that makes sense, but that's crazy. That or my sister wanted to make me feel better for sleeping. Who knows? I'll wait for the doctor's opinion. I'm not feeling 100%, but I feel a whole lot more better than before. Thank you to everyone who showed concern. I think this will be the last update since I want to not think too much about my husband, right? Last update. We do have some relevant comments. Is there not another update? No. No. What? Cliff Anger. Oh, dude, man's going, man's going crazy. Man, oh, dude, I would like if that. I would be wor. I would be with texts like that. I would be worried about having my kid in the same home as that lunatic. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. What are the relevant comments? Please tell me there's more information here. So, Zombie Joe's basement says, "I am so glad you left and got some help and rest. You definitely need and deserve it." I still can't get over your husband's mental gymnastics here. He hasn't been a parent, hasn't helped you at all, and hasn't really spent any time caring for his daughter and only cares about what other people besides you think, but misses his baby girl and wants you to come back so we can get back to being happy. Sounds like the only person who was happy was him. He got a six-week vacation and didn't have to lift a finger. Let me guess, you were doing all the cooking and cleaning on top of caring for the baby. From what he's texting you, he thinks he did nothing wrong. He is being deliberately obtuse. To add insult to injury, he calls you a B and threatens you with the cops. Lovely. He is a real peach. I really want to know what your mom has to say. Does she know he was mad at you for passing out? True. Uh, Efficient Cupcake 247 says, because it isn't about love. It's about control and image. Please be strong. You have done a fabulous job doing what you need to do for you and your baby. Best wishes. Bleh Guardian says, to be clear, kidnapping is not involved until a custody arrangement is submitted to the court. Either married parent is legally permitted to take their child for any reason. And then Aggravating Pipe 903 says, dang, this dude is crazy. Hopefully the next update, it'll be ex-husband, but there isn't another update because that is the end of the story. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Yes. I feel like we were just, it was just getting good. When, we when, 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 when did this story happen? How long ago? Wow. Oh, six. like a few days. This was a few days ago. Few Three days, days ago. ago. Okay, so that's why there's not an update because... Wait, get, 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 click, click, time. click, uh... I feel like we could get another update. Dude, there might I be. I doubt it. Dude. Four days ago. There is, um... That's it. That's all they've posted. Gosh dang! Yeah, because there was, there was one, one update. One day later. Gosh dang! I mean, it's possible... I, I feel like there will probably be at least one more update here. I Ultimately. hope so. This is oh man, I'm a, I'm a such a cliffhanger. Um, what do we predict will happen? <sighs> Next possible. He's acting a little crazy. I don't think it's I don't think it's quite divorce yet. But she needs they need to have a conversation asap. Yeah. And like, I... is this a mental break? Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't I don't I like because there's no, nothing like terrible terrible has happened, except these yeah messages like. He's been negligent, and then these messages are crazy, and the threat is crazy. It's pretty bad. But I, I don't, like, if they've had a four or five year relationship, I feel like maybe it's just a break that he's, I don't know. I, I, I feel like maybe they could work something out, but if something doesn't change, if they have a conversation and a line and something doesn't change, divorce for sure. Yeah, my suspicion is nothing is going to change, and he's just... He's changed for whatever reason to become this why. crazy man. Um, so yeah, I, I would predict that he doesn't change, and then OP is like, "Yeah, I, you know, I I can't have this for for me and my child." I think that uh, it would be good for at some point, which would be challenging, of course, with caring for the baby, but it could be good to meet with him away from the baby in like a public. I 100% agree. Or leave, leave the baby with your mom or sister. Leave the baby with the mom and sister and just try to, I guess, just have a sit down and just like try to figure out what's going on, even though it might, I don't know that he'll actually like. Yeah. Before you divorce, you should have that conversation to see what. Just like, just to see what's going on, honestly, because yeah. I'm like. Because I'm confused. I don't know why, like all, all of a sudden this is, why is this happening? And OP did, did uh, granted it was one day later, so that's not like not a lot of time to like sit and stew on it. 
but op didn't mention like oh and now like thinking back like i see these red flags and like whatever else or like add more context which oftentimes we do get and we're like ah okay that that makes sense that's who this person was and they they just had the rose tinted glasses and didn't see them for who they were yeah but i don't know dude i i do not have high also hopes. maybe they've just never had a challenge like this before and so she hasn't had the opportunity to see him in a light where right he's needed to help yeah if they've had just like a super super smooth relationship and everything and now it's like okay like raising a child is hard yeah it is not easy which is why you always get a dog before you have a baby mm, is that is that another another sam's golden rule yeah dude I, I remember i was talking to this girl or i was dating this girl and she was like um i would never get a dog and i'm like well then how do you know if you're ready to have a baby and she's like what do you mean and I'm like you gotta you gotta do a test trial on something that dies within like five years before you have something that lives for like 80. it's yeah In five years i don't know you get a big dog oh great dang yeah yeah like 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 they don't live for only five years though you want to bet great dane great dane's lifespan is five years look up average lifespan of a great dane that's that's so sad dude i'm so you get a sad big oh eight to ten okay all right <laughs> eight to ten a lot of uh, but a lot of them are like oh, here wait, wait, wait. eight to ten with some living only six or seven years is it just because they're so freaking they're massive? so huge look, look up look up tibetan mastiff dude that makes me sad how do you spell that tibetan uh you, you, I, I believe in you Oh man! <laughs> oh wow! Okay, never mind. Uh, lifespan. Tube, tube mate dog. That's what Otto is correct suggested. From Tibetan to tube mate. Oh, here we go. All right, nine to eleven. What's the shortest dog lifespan? I mean zero. <laughs> well, on average. <laughs> dog D. Dog de Bordeaux. Oh, the the Bordeaux, the Bordeaux Mastiff. Look at the Bordeaux Mastiff. We, okay, yeah, we are. Sam just wants to find a dog that will die. In well, five that's what. Years. I, well, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you, if if you want, <laughs> so would you get this Bordeaux mastiff? <laughs> so yes. that way, there's a ticking time bomb yes. of like five yes. years. Because all right, let's let's say I'm like, okay, <laughs> why does it have to die? I don't Hear understand me out. That. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm all listening. All right, so things are going great in your relationship, yeah. and you're like, I think I might want to have kids with this person. Mm -hmm. What you do? is you get a dog first to see how can you guys take care of a dog together. I'm on board. Right. All right. Let's say the relationship erodes after two years of you taking care of that dog. Mm -hmm. You're saying you have to share joint custody of this thing for another 10 years of but, someone that you don't might not even like. But, but if it dies a year or two after, then it's fine. But even if you had like a... a, a Four, three and a half, four year relationship, which is a long relationship, and then you leave, you still have at least like a one more year of having to figure out this. Would you rather have custody. one year or ten years? <laughs> it doesn't matter because it once does you figure, matter. once you figure it out, I mean someone's gonna take the dog. You figure it out. Some and people then... do joint custody of a dog. It's it is way more complicated the longer the dog lives. See, I okay, I always assumed that one person would take yeah. The, honestly, I feel like that is probably the norm. If I get a dog, I'm going to be like, this is my dog. I'm paying for it. I'm paying for everything. And they have no reason to take that dog. That's not the situation. We, the, we, the, the situation <laughs> oh. is we're getting a dog together to simulate whether or not we're going to have a baby. You know oh, what? Yeah. I want to. I, I agree with that. If anyone has a story. Uh, so you get a Bordeaux you, Mastiff. The Bordeaux <laughs> Mastiff is the perfect relate, the baby test. You're like planning for failure, though. What do you mean? You are. You're planning for failure. All right. Wait, if they, out, right. Let's, 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 as soon as the dog dies, that's when you know you're ready to have a kid. Well, time out. <laughs> Why can't the dog live? Because in this simulation, you have a short amount of span time within five years. Well, the kid will live to 80. But in this scenario, you want to average dogs live for like 15 years. Yeah, it's a long time. You want one that lives for five. Okay. Average person lives for 100 years. You want someone that lives for 33? You want your kid to die at 33? That's what this simulation is doing. No, 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 no. no it's, <laughs> that, that is what it's doing. No, it, what, it's, what it's doing is it's making sure that collateral damage is less if it doesn't work out. But which is planning for it. That was just like get a regular dog. Because then it's, it's a test. 
<laughs> I, I understand. Okay, okay, it's okay. A test. Get a different pet. Well, not a dog. Get like a durable or something. That's not enough. That's not hard enough. Okay. A dog is a dog is a, is a dog is hard enough that it can actually simulate some of the things of having a child. Yeah, it's like semi. It's, it's like semi there. Yeah. And a big dog. Third degree parenting. Exactly. Third degree parenting. So you get. I'm, what I'm saying is when you're ready, when you're thinking about having a kid, you get a Bordeaux Mastiff. As soon as that dies, you start raw dogging just, and then you have a kid. I think you just get whatever dog you want. No, you get a Bordeaux Mastiff. <laughs> Anyways. What if the re- I know, I know people who have inherited dogs that they weren't ready to take care of alone because they got a dog together with their partner and it wasn't a Bordeaux Mastiff. So now they have that dog for like 15 years. Are they ready? To, can they take care of three dogs you can always themselves? you can always adopt adopt the adopt dog out yeah but then that's sad so my it's friend more is, sad than it dying you stop, I, r- no, stop. But at, at least it, when it's when it's dead it's just it's dead <laughs> Rex but if you give it away it to a shelter no 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 then no, 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 it no, 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 no 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 you can adopt it to another fan see i yeah 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 yeah, yeah. my, you adopted my buddy's family. dog was adopted out to him and he like takes care of it my mom used to uh we used to foster care for dogs and we would we would like es- we would essentially low-key like interview the family to like make sure that they were like a good family and all the dogs we've ever adopted out like incredible incredible families they're so well taken care of I guess it's a, it's a great, <laughs> guess. it's a fantastic idea. I love it. And I'm actually like, oh yeah, I should totally do, totally do that. But I, you don't have to get a dog. It's going to die like immediately. It's better. It's better. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't, I don't think okay, so. Okay. Cause it, you, you, uh, but, yes. But I, the thing that confuses me that, right, but is you, the you're, death part. You are because trusting, you are trusting someone else to take care of your dog. You, they could, they could be secret dog beaters and you don't even know. They could interview I mean, any, well. Anyone can be anything. Exactly. So trust yourself. Make sure you take care of a dog till death. I would rather. When you own a dog, it's till death do you part. <laughs> yeah, but but if you're optimizing it for it to die as fast as possible. Because it's a relationship test dog. <laughs> okay. Oh my that gosh. I make you an animal abuser because you want this dog to die. I don't Just, want it to yeah, die. Yeah, yeah, it will like die. It. It's going to die. Bros in a Ferrari towards speeding towards <laughs> death. <laughs> Anyways. That's why you get the biggest Bordeaux Mastiff possible. <laughs> just a mute. Sam was a mutated freak of a dog. It's just gonna, <laughs> dude. Might as well just bro, feed it chocolate too. While why, you're at yeah, it. dude. Why, <laughs> yeah. Why stop at Bordeaux Mastiff? Let's find one with like wings or gills or some sort of like insane deformity. <laughs> or just. Feed, just or, or obese. better yet, <laughs> better yet. What would you say? No, just make it obese. obese. But make it obese, yeah. <laughs> but that's that's animal cruelty. Go to the go to the. Here we go. This is this is your this is the Samuel Donner dog parenting plan. You literally go to like the, a VCA hospice and find a dog that is on life support. And you're like, okay, no, 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 no. And no, there's no. so many things to take that care of. That doesn't work. That doesn't work because you need no, to see what it is. No, there's more things to take care no, of then. No, but you need to see what it's like. Like, all right, you're. It simulates a baby because you're getting it when it's a baby. And it's like, oh, it's seeing the world for the first time. But you're and you're going to be seeing what it's like, like to see life through a baby's eyes. Except instead of a human, it's a dog. I I mean, it's still. Well, your situation is like, oh, grandma's going to come live with us. Like, that's not like, yes, you're. But taking, that's still taking care of, of something. Yeah. But like, it's not. But it's not taking care of a young thing. It's like, like, if you were thinking about. Ta- here, here we go. Oh that situation is great. This stuff. That situation <laughs> is great. If you're thinking about taking your grandma, you're like, I don't know, like, what is it going to be like? Adopt a 13 year old dog and see what that's like. Yeah, uh, it's closer, but okay. it's like, it's the, way closer. The general principle of like caring for something together is still there. But yeah, it is cl- it's closer. It's, a, it's closer. It's, it's a closer simulated experience. But I, I think g- you're, you'll still go through the fire of like, you know, the challenge of like having to care for something. Probably even more so, honestly. I think one with could a, argue with, a, old with dog? a with a sick dog, because then you have more things to take care of. Yeah, that's if you shots. adopt a kid at five. If you adopt a kid at five, then you uh, <laughs> then you take care of a sick dog, like like from the foster system. And it's all right. like, all right, I gotta like help this kid through all the trauma that it may have experienced. If you want to learn more about Sam and his theories with dogs and humans, check out our other podcast. Now we're gonna get back to the. Story. <laughs> 
These are these are golden rolls. <laughs> <laughs> these are no, that, that one's been upgraded to platinum. <laughs> we're, we're reaching a new level. Anyways, what do we, what do we got next? What's this platinum story we got on the docket to read? Am I the a-hole for breaking up with my boyfriend after he almost got into three altercations, but nothing actually happened? Let's make it a fourth. This comes from Gregory Toothface, and they say, My boyfriend, 26 male, and I, 26 female, were together for six months. We just recently broke up because I was uncomfortable with how he reacted in three different situations with and around me. First, Dog back God. in November, I ran a marathon. Let's go, OP. And my boyfriend came to cheer me on. Afterward, he drove me home. On our way to his car, a random guy yelled at me to get off the sidewalk so he could ride his bike there. Weird, but I just moved to the side. Meanwhile, my boyfriend went over to the guy, yelling at him and ready to fight. I separated them and had to pull my boyfriend away. I was pissed and scared about this, but no fight had actually happened. They just got in for this. Like, what do you do? Talk to my girlfriend. Then, last Friday night, my boyfriend came to watch my gym competition. Damn. Marathon, then gym Opie's competition? Opie's a freaking athlete out here. We drove separate cars, and he had parked far away. He insisted on walking to his car, even though I wanted to give him a ride since it's a bad area. When we met up at home, he said a homeless woman had followed him to his car and said he stole money from her? Huh? What? He stole money from the homeless woman? He Please said don't. a homeless woman had followed him to his car, and he said that he stole money from her. Give me my money. You stole money from a homeless person? Wait, that read is... the edit. Read the edit. Edit. He said he didn't, which I believe. I believe that. That just makes me more confused. Did you, yeah, did, leave did, homeless did... people alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Riley. <laughs> um, did... did uh... She tried to reach into his car and he kicked her away. When I was worried and shocked by this, he said he only kicked her a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they barked at her. Gosh. <laughs> Finally, on Saturday, we went for a jog in the morning in my neighbor's big farm, where my family has permission to run around the fields. Always running. It's like a four mile loop. A car appeared on the farm, driving up the dirt path by the fields and headed our way. And my boyfriend says under his breath, what the F is this guy up to? I got mad at my boyfriend for trying to take charge since I was the more familiar person in this situation and had seen many cars there before. My boyfriend was mad and said not to start crap with him and then ran faster away from me the rest of the loop. Turns out the car belonged to the owner of the farm. And I beat the crap out of him. And I verified who I was. I was embarrassed to have brought a guest without him knowing and then to be fighting with said guest when the farmer saw. So then later on Saturday, back at my house right after the run, my boyfriend said, if he's going to always be the bad guy in my eyes, then we're wasting our time together. Maybe stop being the bad guy. Hey, come on now. We broke up the next day. I see. Oh, I, I see get, what the issue is. Go, sorry. What's the issue, Riley? Talk uh, to me. In all of these scenarios, she's doing something physically so she needs to stop working out. So he'll stop doing this. <laughs> That's that Riley with the banger ideas. <laughs> stop taking care of your health and it'll all be good. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, running marathon gym, dude, just stop doing that. If you fight them before he fights them, problem solved. Mm. Mm. But you need to be athletic for that. So then you need to stay in shape. Yeah. So keep Rock running. Place. You either stop running entirely <laughs> yes. or keep running and then fight them before he fights exactly. them. Exactly. Bing, bang, boom. I guess I'm feeling some guilt because I'm worried I judged him too harshly and overreacted here. I didn't see any actual fighting. I was just worried about the possibility of it. But am I justified in feeling like it was possible that I would be in danger? Some of this comes from knowing he's been in fights before we met, and a few years ago, he went to jail for a particularly bad fight, so he has history. I mean, come on. But even then, he was acquitted of his charges. That just means he had a good lawyer. A court of law decided he wasn't responsible for that fight in the end, and I hate being the person who lets someone's past define them. Are these situations dangerous enough for me to be worried about my safety, or did I overreact? And there is an edit and some relevant comments. But do we think OP overreacted? John Riley, comments hers. 
What do you think? Yeah, so there's like two things here. There's uh, the safety issue and then there's the like relationship expectation yep. issue, right? So it's like, even let's kind of like separate the safety part of it uh, away for a second. Like if you're like, hey, I don't like a person who's like always getting us into confrontations and like, that's not what I want in a partner and in a relationship, yeah. it like stresses me out. Then like, yeah, that's, that's if, if you don't want that in a relationship, then don't be in a relationship that has that. That's totally fine. And he has a violent past too. So one, I think she should leave him. But the other thing, if she wanted to be with him, she needs to get even harder into the gym and come to a place where if he tries to fight other people, she can beat his ass and tell him like, hey, stop that. And he can be in control of the situation. She just needs to be the Hulk. <laughs> exactly. Actually, I wonder if that's a good thing. Like if two people are about to get in a fight and you pretend to beat up the person, your friend. Like, is that like a fight, like a tactic to like to, tactic to stop divert the other person? To, like the two people just start We're fighting. Like, right, each other. I guess like she's doing everything I wanted to do. Hey, stop. hey, that exactly. Yeah, you're not listening to me. Da, 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 da. And then I feel like not. No, that would be a good tactic. Yeah, I think it's you a good still tactic. Could be, possibly. I don't know. That's also another good tactic. Just rip off your pants. Yes, they don't know what to do. Yeah, this only. This doesn't, I don't think this works universally for everyone. It does not. It <laughs> only works for us. <laughs> yeah, if the big guy was coming after me, I'd, I'd probably get, so he would leave me alone. Uh, there we go. I'm about it. All right, but let's get into this edit. So I really appreciate everyone's comments. It has been so interesting to read everyone's perspectives and similar experiences. And I appreciate you for taking the time to consider the situation and provide input on it. Here is what I've taken away from the comments. One. People have different ideas of what level of defense, confrontation, and conflict is acceptable in daily life. Bah! This then becomes a compatibility issue. This is what John was saying. Two, escalating a strange situation into one with a more heightened emotions and an increased potential for violence is a form of aggressive behavior, mm. even if no violence occurs. There are people who escalate and there are people who de-escalate. And especially when leaving is a safe and valid option. Three, it's okay to leave if I feel unsafe. I can trust my gut feeling. And four, I am not responsible for his choices. Also, I know the feedback paints my ex-boyfriend in an overwhelmingly negative light. And for those of you who agree with him, I acknowledge your, I acknowledge your perspective too. I feel validated and feeling unsafe, but I recognize that some may feel perfectly fine in these situations, which is exactly what we said. Let's freaking go. Boom. That is fine. I just personally don't want to be in these situations again. And I hope my ex-boyfriend finds someone more compatible on this in the future. I kind of feel like this too. Sometimes if like a girl puts herself in dangerous situations, then I'm like, stop it. Stop doing that. Like that's the, like, don't, yeah. don't go, don't, don't like be talking when to, you when you pick a fight so that way your 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 guy can defend you and you're like, exactly hold on. yeah I'm like dude i, I don't want to have to always do this yeah but you know who is great for that kind of girl who this guy <laughs> this guy is great for that girl <laughs> he's just looking for a he's fight. looking for that yeah that's right anyway relevant comments birdie seeker one not overreacting at all dude has issues with control and decision making either he matures in a hurry or he's going to end up in trouble and then op responds also his friends are all like this too they think mm. fights are just a normal part of life. The more I saw that in his friends and in him, the more uneasy I got. And then Grandma Ethel's Revenge says, I mean, you said it yourself. This is a regular part of his life. If you keep him in your life, it will now become a regular part of your life. Yep. And that's where it ends. Great advice from the comments. That's true. <laughs> Great advice from us. And and I think the way that like OP, OP was like super <laughs> level headed and like mature about like, hey, I see what everyone else is is saying i hear you but this is how i personally feel this is what i pulled away from yeah. the comments like super level-headed mature way of going about it yeah, agreed but you know what i want to maturely and level-headedly talk about next what this next story oh god am i the a-hole for not wanting to get back together with my wife who left me after she got in shape Ouch. Mm. Ouch. Uh, this comes from Let Me Be Alone, huh? Who Aww. says, I am not sure why I'm posting this. I probably want some validation as my life has just turned upside down recently. I, 32 male, was married to my wife, 33 female, for four years, and we had a great marriage so far. I was madly in love with my wife. She fell into depression mainly due to her job in 2022. 
I tried to support her in every way and suggested her going to the gym or doing any kind of sports to de-stress. I had my own depression episode before we got married and what saved me was going to the gym. Iron Church, baby! Iron Church, I praise the gains! <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> damn, you're getting, going too hard over there, dude. Mm -hmm. you need to Gotta get those gains. True. To get away the pains. By any means. She agreed to that and we started going there together to the gym. I could not go as frequent in the past since my workload got heavier after my promotion. However, I tried my best to be there with her. She used to be a bit chubby, which I loved, and after seeing some changes with her body, she started to go there regularly. It also helped with her depression and she got better. I was really happy to see her better and livelier. She looked more confident, got more aggressive in bed, Let's and go. so on. Let's go. We love a little aggression in the bed. <laughs> However, after a while, that confidence level started to affect our relationship or worse. Oh no. She started going to the parties and going outside to a point she completely stopped doing her share in the house. That proceeded with me seeing her get flirty with a guy at a meetup we went to. I communicated my feelings to her and she dismissed these. After several of these, I had to sit her down with me and told her that she is riding high on her newly found confidence and emotions right now. I clearly stated she should not make decisions or actions according to that confidence right now. I know it well. It was one of my worst traits. I used to be extremely emotionally driven in the past. I suggested we go to a marriage counselor and all hell broke loose. That is such a normal thing to suggest. Yeah, very, very normal thing. To, even if there's nothing wrong, it's, you know, yeah. good to, you know. Talk it out. Talk it out. Talk it out. Now talk it out. Um, she said vile things to me, like how she realized she settled down with me after getting better and she could do much better than me. Oh no! Ouch. She said I am insecure and other things. This woman used to be the sweetest woman on earth and I was shocked after hearing the things she said to me. Dude, hard body, hard soul. Apparently, hard heart, but it's healthy. Um, she, <laughs> she filed for divorce the following month and I did not hear much from her other than some lawyer talks. Our court seeing is scheduled to be next month and my lawyer told me there is a high chance it will be concluded then. There is not much to share. A similar income, only shared asset is our joint account. Similar savings, no kids. House is my mom's, so it's out of vision. I accepted my marriage is going to end like that. Last week, she called crying and told me she regrets everything. Mm, now, now you come crawling. Oh, yeah, crawling back. Come crawling back, eh? Yep, or mm. army Crawl Army crawling, but bear crawling back with weights on their back, mm -hmm. <laughs> dude. What are we talking about? Hey, you know what? Uh, I don't think Opie needs to deal with your emotional baggage. He That's right. Need that kind of workout. That's right. You know? He's doing a whole different type of workout, pulling his ropes because he wants to kill himself. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's like pulling his ropes, you know. His heart ropes. His heart ropes. Yeah. What heart? What's a heart rope? <laughs> no, not heart. No. <laughs> How? He's oh, he's pulling his rope. Yes. Oh, like a thing. Oh. How did you both? <laughs> you thought heartstrings. You thought insanity. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. We were just in three completely sorry, different worlds. Sorry, right John. There. I don't keep up with these old terms. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What does it mean? Touching your rope. <laughs> Man, I, we should have gotten that, Riley. I know. Right? I was, I know. Wow. Yeah. That, was a, that was a hilarious uh, <laughs> three way misunderstanding. There. I got a lot of um, emphasis on three way. Um, <laughs> She apologized over and over again, but I felt disappointed. Not angry, not sad, but just disappointed. She did not text me nor call me even once since the divorce started. Cause she was too busy texting, calling and banging her, her little crush. Apparently dude, working, working something else out. Working out, yep. little horizontal tango. Ouchie. Uh, I did not even know where she was since she left the home. 
I told her there is no going back now. She has been messaging me nonstop. My family supports my decision and tell me I should not back down. My in-laws were shocked when they heard about the divorce. They are now telling me to rethink everything. I will 99.9% .9 not back down, but as I said, I just was looking for validation and maybe wanted to vent. Thank Don't you. back down. Don't back down. Don't do it. Don't back down. Thank you for reading. And there are some quick relevant comments. Should we get these and then break Discuss. down the story? Well, yeah, I, but, but quick. Yes. Not back. Don't back down. Don't back down. Don't back down. Don't Turn back that, down. Don't back down. Turn that 99.9% .9 into 100%. Yeah. That's what we need. 100% mm. commitment to not backing down. Yeah. Well, what if she proposes like Tuesdays, every Tuesdays, stake the blue job? Throwback. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Okay, 100% then now. Go. 100%. So, um, some relevant comments from Neander Beast. It didn't work out with a new guy, so she's falling back to plan B, a.k.a. you. Ooh. Ooh. So freaking true. Good. You know what? Her mom should have taken some plan B. Uh, her mom should have <laughs> shot. <laughs> Wait. Jesus Christ. Hey, that's true, yeah. Her mom should have swallowed. Hey, yo. Do another one. Do another one. Um, Her mom should have. He's most likely wooed her with lies and is now showing his true colors. <laughs> Continue with the divorce and cut her off. Her dad should have Bellagio <laughs> Fountain himself. <laughs> We're just grasping at straws here. <laughs> it's like when, you know, like how the Bellagio Fountain like goes and then it kind of like comes back in the same spot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I'm not, I won't entertain it. <laughs> Opie said, Opie replies, I did not even understand why she <laughs> left me after getting in shape. I am in shape too. It's not like I was overweight. It's been a while since uh, going to the gym before we started together, but I was not in bad shape at all. I could probably get back to my shredded years with one year of regular workout. And Neander Beast replies to that. Someone new and shiny, he probably made promises that he would be better. Now she realizes the grass is greener and wants her comfortable life. Back. Don't be the beehive. Forget the beehive. What's the beehive again? It's it's like she's the bee and he's the beehive. She's coming back to the beehive after going to all the other flowers to get but pollen. That's what bees do. I know, but so you're saying don't like stop being a bee. Don't be the beehive. Because the, the beehive bee, she, is great. Like like that's what bees. Yeah, it, it's it's <laughs> great. But the metaphor is she went out, saw some other flowers, is now coming back home. Well, really, if you're a, if if you're taking that metaphor all the way, if you're the beehive, you have like a, a like a million bees. All right, let's just kill it. No <laughs> beehive. We'll find a new analogy. <laughs> He's Yo, dead now. Well, we, maybe he should. Maybe we, he should be a beehive and have a million bees, and she's just one of his bees. Let's accept this is the, the <laughs> worst analogies episode in OKOP history <laughs> and leave it at that. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but if you love us, make sure to subscribe. We love you. And, and see you tomorrow. tomorrow.